Hi everyone, my name is Fennel Patel, and today I would like to show you how you can quickly turn on AWS WAF with just a few clicks. But first, what is AWS WAF? AWS WAF is a cloud native web application firewall that can protect your application and APIs against common web exploits and various bot threats. AWS WAF is a fully managed service, which means the resources needed will be provisioned automatically. You can use the provided AWS managed rule groups or configure your own customized rules. Additionally, it offers a highly flexible rule engine that can inspect parts of incoming requests in low latency. And lastly, it provides a frictionless setup, meaning you can deploy AWS WAF without changing your TLS certificates or DNS configuration. You can simply associate it to resources that need protection. AWS WAF can be used to protect a variety of applications running on AWS, as well as those running on-premises. For AWS workloads, there are several options to use AWS WAF, which you can see on the slide here. You should always consider putting CloudFront in front of your regional resources, such as application load balancers or API gateways, to further improve performance, security posture of your application, and optimize costs. For on-premises workloads, you can put CloudFront distribution in front of your application and deploy AWS WAF with it. So let's go ahead and see how we can deploy baseline protections with AWS WAF in just a few clicks. Here, I have one of my CloudFront distributions. To quickly associate WAF with it, go over to the Security tab, click Edit to enable security protections as shown here. By default, this WAF Webacle will have rule groups that protect against most common vulnerabilities, malicious actors, and block IP addresses that belong to potential threat actors. In addition to those, you can optionally enable rule groups that protect against SQL injection attacks and HTTP flood attacks here. If you are deploying WAF rules or making changes to existing ones, we recommend using monitoring mode. Finally, go ahead and click Save Changes and now you have WAF WebACL associated to your CloudFront distribution. If you go over to the WAF console, you can see the rules that were added to the WAF WebACL that was created. For associating WAF directly to application load balancers, click on the integrations tab, scroll down to web application firewall, click associate a WAF WebACL, it and very similarly, it will auto create a predefined web ACL with rule groups that provide baseline protections. You can choose to monitor this, uh, these rules in, the, in this web ACL by using count mode as well. Click confirm to have the web ACL associated to your application load balancer. In order to associate WAF to your API gateway, go over to your API stage, click edit, scroll down and you can easily associate a WAF WebACL to your API gateway and then click save here. For more information on how AWS WAF works and the best way to implement it, please scan the QR codes provided here. Thank you for your time and happy cloud computing from all of us at AWS.